giggles and lots of color are just some of the things we see in children's television shows. Welcome to WatchMojo.com. Today we'll be taking a look at the top 10 wackiest TV shows created for kids. Number 10, Backyardigans. The animated musical is centered on five animal friends. I'm Pablo. My name's Tyrone. I'm Uniqua. I'm Tasha. My name's Austin. And we're your backyard friends of Backyard Again. In each episode, these pals use their vivid imaginations to embark on new and exciting adventures. Yip, yip, answer the worm and polka. Not bananas in pajamas. Number nine. Number nine. Bananas in pajamas. Cuddles Avenue. You'll find two silly bananas who are always in their pajamas. Each episode is a new wild adventure with B1 and B2 and their friends, the Teddies and Rat and a Half. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am B2. Number eight. Number eight. The Wiggles. The Wiggles are known as the world's biggest preschool band. The group creates music and dances based on simple concepts familiar to young children. I love food. <laughs> Aside from the four Wiggles, Dorothy the Dinosaur, Captain Feather's Sword, Henry the Octopus, and Wag's Dog appear with the group on their DVDs and in concert. Yummy. Yummy, 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 yummy food salad. Number seven. Veggie Tales. After great success with their videos, Bob the Tomato, Larry the Cucumber, and their friends invite viewers into Bob's house for an episode of Veggie Tales. In the show, the nutritious characters address childhood problems with their fun and wacky antidotes. Your age, I wanted all the same things you do now, except I was allergic to grass and hated football. <laughs> Number six, Teletubbies. Babies enjoy watching the Teletubbies cool and play in Teletubby land. Tink Tinky Winky, who's purple. Dipsy, who is green. Dipsy, who is green. Lala, who is yellow. And Poe, who is red. Love playing in the meadow and watching real children on the TVs on their bellies. Although the series is for... Children between the ages of one and for many college kids tune in due to the psychedelic qualities of the show. <laughs> Number five, Yo Gabba Gabba. This show was created by two fathers due to their frustration with children's television. The final law of auction program is hosted by DJ Lance Rock, who introduces us to the friendly toy monsters who love to play and dance. Oops. The Red Cyclops, who... Muna, who is quite... Muna, the Red... Muna, the Red Cyclops. Muna, the Red Cyclops. Tootie, the Pink Flower. Fufa the pink flower. Fufa the pink flower. Broby. Broby the green little one. Tootie the blue cat dragon. And Tootie the big blue cat dragon. And, and Plex the yellow robot are always happy to sing, play, and teach. Oh, Gabba Gabba! Number four, Lazy Town Athletics. Superhero Sportagus protects Stephanie and the citizens of Lazy Town by teaching them how to eat and exercise properly. His nemesis is Master of Disguise, Robbie Rotten, who hates physical activity and loves junk food. Can you stop waiting for one second? Number three, Booba. Humba Humba. Humba. Humba, Zumba, Zing Zing, Ba Jumba, and Jimba. Humba, Zumba, Zing Zing Zingba, Jumba, and Jimba. Are magical atoms of power that do not speak. Instead, they emit musical notes and flashes of color. The Boobas <laughs> live in Storyland with the story people to narrate the episodes. 
Number two, the Howdy Doody Show. Howdy Doody is a red-headed, freckle-faced marionette. He entertains children accompanied by Buffalo Bob Smith and friends of the show. This was one of the first and easily one of the most popular children's television shows ever created. <laughs> Number one, Pee Wee's Playhouse. Both children and grown-ups equally enjoy watching Pee Wee Herman and his friends have wacky and wild fun in his playhouse. In Puppet Land, along with laughs, he provides children with a chance to use their imagination and learn about ethics and morals. My choice! Not canary, though.